Lower Decks Goes Lewd. All right. Star Trek's uh, really gone off the rails ever since Discovery and just pushing into territory where they're just trying to be edgy humor for the sake of edgy humor. And it really just doesn't do honor to what Star Trek was, which was uh, an intention of exploration, an intention of humanity bettering itself. And Gene Roddenberry was very cognizant of this. And if you look at the way the next generation handled almost everything, uh, it was always about humanity pushing forward into something uh, noble. And that's completely lost now. We'll get into that in a second. (sighs) Man, I try to do this myself. Uh, I have a noble character in The Cosmic Warrior. It's a comic book, a sci-fi, about a fighter pilot who goes off and has to fight an alien empire. This is humanity at its best. This is heroism for real. If you are interested in preserving culture in the classic Trek sense, then uh, definitely back my book today. Support the channel. Support what we're doing here. And I appreciate everybody who reads the books. All right. The news of the day is after Star Trek's Lower Decks' raunchiest moment yet, the internet has thoughts. This is the way that the fake mainstream news talks about things. Um, and if you didn't see the whole, uh, deal, here is your image. All right. Uh, the scenario in this, because I wanted to watch this first before, uh, commenting on it, just so I knew what I was talking about. It it seemed like it was going to be a fake image going around the internet. I, I couldn't believe this was actually something real because it's just ridiculous and, and just awful, but, uh, it was real. And this was part of a uh, episode where all the Lower Decks people went into different simulations and different scenarios. So there were lots of references to different episodes. There was like the Fistful of Data's episode reference. There was a uh, Borg reference. There was a Wrath of Khan reference. So uh, it was a lot of that. And then they referenced the episode The Naked Time, which is kind of where the crew kind of went berserk and uh, started losing their inhibitions, as it were. And they did so in terms of, uh, of course, gratuitous violence and sex in The Next Generation. And there was an implied, uh, you know, moment of uh, intercourse between uh, Tasha Yar and Data was uh, what happened. Now, you know, they, they, they talked and used innuendo in that, but they didn't go this far. You didn't have Tasha Yar just spreading her legs naked on the thing. Um, and that's the difference between what we used to have on TV, where, you know, you can have moments like that, uh, versus what you have now where there's no rules. And uh, when pornography is everywhere, which is what you've got, uh, in order to make your, quote, edgy moment edgier, uh, you have to go full on pornography. And that's the only option. Now, um, it's, it sucks. It's sad. Um, and it's it's really cringy to watch this happen in something like Star Trek, where it's supposed to be about, again, noble humanity. Even though they are under the influence of an alien virus in that episode uh, that they're referencing here, and then subsequently in here, whew, I, you just don't need to go that far. You can, uh, you can make the point without presenting an image like this. Uh, and there's a few other images uh, that are just as gross. They, of course, have uh, the gratuitous lesbian kissing because that's uh, that's what you do these days in every movie and everything. And, of course, uh, the main character uh, finds that to be hot when they see that, where they find this to be repulsive where they see that. At least they find this repulsive. I mean, it is repulsive. It's disgusting. Uh, but uh, at, at what point can anybody just have a sense of normalcy anymore? And it just doesn't exist. You get a uh, the com- second commanding officer, like, riding another officer like a like a horse naked also i mean there's a few images just like this and it's really sad to watch star trek turn into this at this point now um i don't know what to do uh you know unfortunately they're not getting the message even though ratings have been terribly low for all of the new star trek shows uh they just don't seem to care they seem to be pushing forward with the agenda anyway they seem to do just be reaching for the lowest bar every single time and, uh, you know, and it's, uh, it's just doesn't even elicit a laugh because it's not anything new. It's not anything interesting. It's just sad to watch. All right. We're trying to do something different. I think you can tell great stories uh, by being PG. I don't think there's any problem with that. Uh, I think uh, that these people have gone way off the rails in Hollywood. And uh, despite this article, this article says that there's just as much support uh, as there is for uh, criticism of this. I highly doubt that's the case. 
I highly doubt that's the case. All right, let me know what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.